There was talk that Whiten was taking a bit of players late in the national draft today. You took two late, I think, Grant and Woodcock, and obviously happy with them there. Did you go? Uh, yeah, we were. We, we, we weren't sure what we were going to do this morning when we walked in, um, whether we would maybe move up and try and take a couple of players or stay where we were and just sit and hold, and we decided to go that, that route. We brought in another tall and a, another small. We, we went you know, running players last night in the, in the first round, we wanted to bring in another tall somewhere, so we did that with Riley Grundy. Um, he's, he's a local boy, but he's, he's competitive um, and he's learning the game, and we wanted to develop him one. With Woodcock, he's come through the system and played in the Premiership and not that long with Connor Rosie. So we just think he's he, and um, adds another mature body to our list. Obviously, Riley and younger brother. How much upside do he have? I think there's a fair bit of upside in, in Riley because he only started playing probably four or five years ago. So he's still learning the game as well, but he's, he's aggressive and he's tall. So we think there's always scope in his development. As a key defender? Most likely as a key defender, yes. Uh, we thought we'd probably use one, but we weren't sure. We, we hadn't really contemplated using the second one until really late in the process of today. We just kept sort of talking over in the room and we decided we'd want to bring another player, to be honest. No, those, those players were always there. We weren't sure. I said, once the process happens, you're not sure where it's all going to fall and who's going to get picked and who's not. Um, those boys were on our board, and they always were, and they just, they're still there, so that's what we did. What we did. Parks overall, I mean, a lot of your heavy lifting was done last night, but overall, you'd be relatively satisfied. Uh, yeah, we're very satisfied. I mean, what we what we planned to do from the moment the season ended was um, try and improve our forward half of the ground, front half of the ground. Rosie, Dersma, um, Butters, Woodcock do that, and we also wanted another just developing tall defender. Our back has developed more see, over the, the last two or three years. We just want to bring another line in and just start training them up. Um, so we're, we're happy, we're very comfortable. We ticked all the boxes at Ken and the, and the list management team on it. Sorry? Well, I still think the list is sitting nicely. Um, obviously, Wingard, Pollock, Pittard had some experience in class. The players we bring in obviously aren't going to be at that level straight away. The, the balance of the list, I think we're very happy with, very comfortable with. As I said, our back sort of six, seven or eight players are, are pretty well set and at a good age. The midfield's still developing. The forward line's a little bit older, but we started to bring some players in to cover that. So uh, we're comfortable with where we sit. I feel like you're a bit, you're sort of all in a little bit the last couple of years. Parks with a few of the major uh, mature players that you brought in now. You probably need to give Rosie and these guys a year or two. Is there a bit of a transition between where you were at and where you're trying to go now? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of talk about going all in. Bringing the, the free agency doesn't actually cost you any draft picks, so we still had draft picks available. What it does do is if you bring in some younger 18 year olds, they don't have to come in and impact straight away. They've got some time to develop, and that's, that's what we did today with you know, Woodcock and, and, um, and Grundy. They don't have to come in and play straight away, they can develop. Through, this, through the sample, which is a strong competition, so you know, we're happy with where we're going. The fact that Rosie and Woodcock have played at a league permission, they're not that far away in some respects. No, they played against you know mature bodies in, in a strong competition all last year, so that's what, they'll hit the ground running and they'll push, push hard for, you know, you hope they push hard for selection from day one. We hope all the boys do, but understand some of them are you know, underdeveloped bodies, 6, 17, 18 year olds, they're, they're going to take a little bit of time.